Hello viewers and welcome. My name is Sarne and in this Shopify tutorial I'm going to show you how to add Shopify payments, Klarna or any other Shopify payment solutions that you're interested in. If you have any questions please leave the questions in the comments section below. Enjoy! Alright, so the first thing I want to explain is that you're not going to go to the Shopify App Store. Usually, if you need to add something to your store or make it better or just add something to it, you need to go to the App Store. In this case, we're not going to do that. We're going to go to Settings. Then we're going to go to Payments. And here it's a part where you add Klarna, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, every payment solution that you want to have to your Shopify store, here is the place where you find it. Usually if you want to add a special payment solution or an external payment solution, a third, third part solution, you have to go here, add payment method. That's not what we're going to do today. I would, I'm telling you, I'm not recommending, I'm telling you that you should do it here with Shopify payments. It's the absolute best solution and it's in this place where you add Klarna. So what you need to do when you're building your store is complete the account setup. I'm going to show you soon. So don't go here. Usually people go here, add payment method. They think, oh, this is the right place. They go here, they tap Klarna. And usually it doesn't even work. It just rolls like this. It's loading. You could type anything. You type Swish. Swish is another big... Um, payment solution in Sweden. So it doesn't matter if you search by provider or payment method. Usually this is a like a very bad thing with Shopify. This has a lot of bugs uh, and it doesn't always work. So don't go here. Don't go to add payment method. If you're going to add Klarna or Visa or MasterCard or American Express, not even if you're going to add Google Pay or Apple Pay, do it here at the first step. Don't go to the second step. Do it at the the first step. So you need to click here, complete submission, and then you're going to choose your business type. And I know that a lot of my viewers have a lot of questions about this because they don't always connect or they can't relate to which company do I have here or which business type is that I'm using. So if you don't understand which business type you are having today, you should contact Shopify customer service. That's what I would do. But if it's nonprofit, what it sounds like, it is what it is. Partnership, mm, no. Private limited company. This is the most common one. Or cooperative, also the most common one. Or private individual company. Choose any one of these. If you're not secure, if you're not not secure, if you're not <laughs> if you're not sure about which one it is. Ask me, I could help you, I can show you the right way, or ask um, Shopify customer service. So let's uh, have individual, no, let's have a corporate. It doesn't really matter. If you see, it doesn't matter which one you choose. The, the submission does not change. This is like mostly information for Shopify itself when they go to your bank and validate your account. So what you need to do is you need to fill out everything in this submission absolutely everything and the most important thing is your business name you need to have a business company and the organization number and the vat number and because of this is is because of shopify is gonna validate that you have a bank account if you don't have a bank account they're not going to accept you to have shopify payments so make sure you have a company, a, re a company that's re registered and a bank account connected to your company. That's the most important part. Fill in your personal information, your um, everything about yourself, uh, product details. And this is, uh, oh yeah. So here, the IBAN number, you have to have the IBAN number connected to your bank account. If you don't have it, you're not going to proceed. You're not going to get accepted from uh, Shopify. 
In this place, I get a lot of questions. What does this mean? And this is actually the part that whenever a customer purchase uh, an item from your store, and at their bank account, there's gonna be some form of information. So if it says here, name the company uh, or the brand of the product you're selling. So the customer knows what's, what information is being withdrawn from their bank account. So if you're going to use local currencies, fill it out. If not, don't use your local currencies and then submit for verification. When you send the submit for verification, it's going to take about two days before Shopify gets back to you with an acceptance or a denial if you're going to have uh, access to Shopify payments or not. So about two days. When this is done, it's only you have to make this first step if, if, you, wanna, if you want to add Klarna. If you don't do this, you can't add Klarna. So you have to first make the first step with Shopify, Shopify payments. When the first step is done, you're gonna be able to go in here to the, with the manage button, and then you're gonna be able to add Klarna. And it's going to look something like this. So when you have everything installed, you have Shopify payments accepted, it's gonna look like this in your Shopify store. And then Clone is going to be available as well. Along with Google Payments, Apple Payments, uh, Visa, MasterCard, and so on. So it's going to look like this. The other step you need to do, you have to do, besides uh, filling in the submission form and having a bank account, is that you have to contact Klarna uh, through this link. I'm going to send you the link uh, in the description if you want it. And you have to sign up with Klarna and have an account with them. You need to have this because they're going to give you an identification number that you're going to put in your store through the manage button. You're going to put it in when Klarna is installed. And with this identification number, Shopify and Klarna is going to be able to talk with each other. If you don't have a um, login or if you don't have a um, yeah, login, you're not going to be able to uh, connect them. So whatever you do, bank account, uh, fill in the submission form and third, the third party is that you have to go here and sign up with Klarna. So that's everything you need to know, guys. If you have any questions, please leave the questions in the comments below. I'm happy to help. I'm here to help. Uh, thank you very much and see you soon again. Bye.